Uh, he's over by the fourth tee, guys. Wow. Believe it or not, there's no divot holes over here, Frank. Was that by design or did he pull? Uh, no, massive <laughs> pull, and this is an unbelievable shot. Saddle, saddle, saddle. I mean, I can't tell you how good that was. He had nothing. Got a birdie putt coming up now. I mean, Frank, I honestly think if you would have gave him five after that tee shot, he probably would have took it. This for a three. What a start when you think where he's been the first three holes. And yet he's played them one under. And Frank, he's going in the wrong direction. Back to back bogeys at eight and nine. But this could help here. Be the right number. No, oh, it is caught. It really is. So Hovland. He's only four back. Northern Irish golfers, and we'll get to that in a minute. First to ten. The Norwegian for Birdie. Don't count him out yet, Frank. Oh, I'm not counting. That's his 16th birdie of the week. Hovland going for it here at the par five. Both players have hit good drives down here. Got a really nice bounce off the tee. This is seven wood. Don't move, Hole. What a bounce. What a great shot there. Friendly bounce, but an awesome shot with the seven wood. How about a 3-3 start to the back nine? <laughs> Pick up a few shots. 3-4 is not too bad. Bangs it in. So he joins Scheffler and Clark at six under, two back. Give your chance at a shot at Eagle. Heading up the left, needs a soft bounce. Well, okay. Second shot at the 15th for Hovland. He's got to draw this one around that tree. This looks pretty good, but my goodness, that took a massive bounce. <sighs> like it landed on a trampoline. Hovland out for birdie. Okay. Makes things. Hovland on the tee. This one is torched up the left side. It's exactly what you need, Colt, on this back tee. It's a tough hole. It is a brutal hole today. Birdie did yesterday. He plays 500 yards back into the breeze. This in the green, give himself a putt for birdie. He's six under, two tough holes to finish. That's eight iron, 177. Got to fly at 172. As usual, very properly struck, Ian. Yeah, he really compresses the ball. And this would really be a huge putt for Victor Hovland. Can someone finally take the lid off here at 17? Yes, they can. Hovland makes birdie at 17 and goes to seven under par. The first birdie of the day here at 17 this weekend for Victor Hovland. He made just very well. Fairway's only been hit 39% of the time and this is carved way right here. Now needs a break. Mm. This one drawing towards the flag. Yeah, and good so, call, Trevor. Oh, it just uh, sometimes if it hits that back fringe, it circles back around toward the hole. This would be a tie if he chipped it in. It's going to be on the low side. Been chipping so well. I know he was expecting to make a better run at it than that. Two hundred par round of seventy for Victor. He played those last three holes in one under. Par birdie par. He is aiming right. Mm. He sure is. And he was right in regulation. Not this time. 
Needs a soft bounce to stay in the fairway, though. Take a seat right there. That went right up against the collar, Trevor. It did. That's pitching wedge from 169. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, just hanging up on top of that false edge. Here. Yeah. Oh, this club face deflects. Definitely a little bit there. From Oslo to Ohio, Victor Hovland is the champion. Victor. Thank you, Jack. This time we'll do it the right time. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was a pretty good cut to make, though. Yeah, I don't want it again. No, that I don't. Was, that was fun. That was well done. Well, thanks for having us again. Happy for you. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. you have come so close so many times on the big stage this season. How much fire did you come in with this week to finally close the deal? Yeah, I've been, I've been playing well, um, but, uh, you know, I've just been trying to stay within myself and play my own game. Uh, it's easy to, you know, maybe before I would have fired at some pins that I shouldn't have fired at, and and I just played smart, played my game, and and uh, came up clutch this time. But um, yeah, it's been feels even better after um, a few close calls the last few few months. Course management has been a huge emphasis for you, but I think about that huge birdie on 17, the huge par save on 18, and now what you did in that playoff hole. What are you most proud of with yourself today? Just playing smart. I didn't really feel like I've, I've hit it my best the whole week. Um, I just played really smart, played conservatively, um, really relied on my short game, and, and I putted awesome this week. So um, it's fun to, to win one of these things without, you know, just ball striking it to death. Now I can kind of rely on some other strengths as well. What's even more fun is being able to walk off the 18th green and get that iconic winning handshake from Jack Nicklaus himself. What did he say to you? And how big of a pinch me moment is it to know that you are now in the history books in front of a legend? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit surreal right now, but uh, obviously playing Jack's course and playing his tournament and, and winning it and um, for him to be able to see it and, and uh, yeah, just check my hand and give me a couple words of encouragement. That's, that's pretty awesome. Go get that winning milkshake, Victor Hovland. You <laughs> certainly deserve it. Mark, we'll throw it over to you. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch more, click here to subscribe. Click here.